Hey guys, welcome to the channel and in this video I'll show you the way of how to create educational website. We are going to use Wix.com. This platform was created to make it easier to create our own website. It will take us only 10 minutes today so let's get started if you are new to this platform you'll need to open wix.com and you'll come to this page where you need to click on get started to create an account you can just simply do it with your uh, gmail and after that you'll come to your account page here from this page here we can easily manage all the websites we already have as you can see i have more than five different websites now but in order to create a new one we need to click on create new site in the right top corner and after that we can easily uh, make it more personalized so let's click on set up without chat but if you know exactly what do you need to see what do you need to create you can start chatting with their ai uh, where you can describe your uh, website more uh, detailed and after that Wix will provide you the opportunity to uh, make to create these uh, websites so let's click on setup without chat uh, and after that we can just simply select the necessary category in our case we need to create educational uh, website and as you can see we have a lot of different categories like educational blog educational forum educational tutorials blog video channel supply store uh, videos and so on let's say that I would like to create educational blog but you can select the necessary category basically you can change a lot of things a little bit later it's not that important to uh, you know select uh, category right up now you can add some features or pages a little bit later so let's click on continue and after that uh, we'll come to this page uh, where we have our dashboard it may take a little time to load your uh, dashboard and uh, the first thing we need to select is what would you like to call your website let's call it add site like educational site continue Next up here is what are your goals for these sites, sell products, offer services, promote the business, collect leads, display creative work uh, and do some other things. Let's say that share knowledges. So let's click on continue. Uh, the next step, uh, we need to select uh, what apps uh, we'd like to add to our website to make it easier to interact with it. So we have a small description here and also a name. For example, for a blog app, we have option to write posts, to drive traffic and share your ideas. The same thing for Instagram feed, display your pics and videos from Instagram. So you have a lot of uh, different apps you can discover here. You can select the necessary one, for example, file share, maybe groups and so on. I'm going to add these apps. You need to select the necessary one. You'll get uh, the option to interact with uh, features inside of these app so let's click on continue and now we are ready to continue with dashboard where we have a quick checklist we can follow to make it easier to interact with our uh, website so firstly we can connect the custom domain name in the search bar in the top of the screen so we can check is it uh, like possible so we can input it right up here and then click on let's go and if it's available, you can make it yours by simply buying this domain on Wix directly. If you're going to click on make it yours, uh, it will redirect you to the next page where you can then select uh, what options would you like to get. Uh, so yeah, you can buy the domain only or get the domain for free with a premium plan. So you have two options uh, here. The next step is to write your first blog post. It's uh, for our type of the website. So we've created educational blog. So we can create the blog post. If you're going to click on it, we'll be redirected to the page uh, here to blog and the posts. And after that, we can add our own uh, message our new post so we can add a title we can add a description uh, we can add some elements here like images galleries videos and so on so this is the way basically of how to uh, add content to our 
uh, website by adding some posts. Uh, sometimes it could be really helpful and this editor is quite easy to interact with. I'm not going to create a post right now, but this is the way of how can you do that. And as you can see, in order to add a post, you can go to block in the left side menu and then go to post and then just simply click on create new post. So quite simple, quite easy, quite fast. So let's continue with uh, the next step. The next step here is to design your website. So how will your website look like? We can click on design site to come to the next page. And we have the options here, generate a design with AI or customized template. Uh, so you can select uh, create a design with AI if you are ready to add some prompts, to add some description uh, to your vision of how would you like to you know, interact with a uh, website you want to create and after that Wix will automatically build it from your description. Or if you don't know exactly, you can click on pick a template. I'm going to select this variant here and uh, we will come to the page where we can find a lot of uh, different templates. So you can search for the necessary category here. As you can see, now we're searching for educational blog and we have, we can find a lot of uh, different templates, more than six uh, pages here, uh, where we can find a lot of uh, things. So for example, we have here educational blog, we can click on view to see how will it look like and it looks like really easy to interact with. We have some pages here like blog, about, online programs, articles and contact. And uh, it's totally responsive, so uh, it's suitable for mobile view, for desktop view, for tablet view. You can basically select it and use. So let's click on edit this site in the right top corner to make it as the main one for us. So the next step is to customize our design. As you can see, we have this uh, template and um, it has its own color palette, font, um, pairs and uh, pages and also sections. And the first thing we can manage is a wall, color palette and text. Mm, fonts. So we need to open side design in the left side menu right up here and then just simply click on change team. So we can select the pre-created pre -created themes with different uh, fonts and with different colors so you can find the necessary one. I'm going to select this one here. The next step is we need to uh, create uh, our own pages we'd like to see. So go to pages and menu right up here and you can find all the structure. We have a couple of pages like home, about, contact. Also we have like some uh, parts, groups, members, articles, online programs and so on. You can interact with this information by clicking on more. So we can delete, rename, go to settings and manage some other things. Also, we can add pages, we can add a menu item, so we can add links, sections, anchors, or new pages. We have a lot of templates here. It won't be hard for you. I definitely recommend you to see some more in-depth tutorials on my channel, because here I'm going to show you the like overview of how to do that. And the next step is to manage sections. Every page here contains from different sections, like this one here, this one here, and we can add them by going to this page and then just drag and drop it. So we can click and as you can see, this welcome page was added. So we have options uh, of how to interact with sections. We can click on more here to see all the things. So we can delete, duplicate and do some other stuff. So basically this is the easiest way of how to interact with content. And then we need to interact with elements. So elements is things inside of the sections. We have this text here, we have this text, we have this button, we have this container. We can select, delete, remove, drag and drop and do some other things. So basically, as you can see, it's really easy. And if you are going to click on some items, 
we can find all the options we can do. So we can go to settings, we can manage layout, design, add animation, make it as a link and so on. So as you can see, all the steps are quite simple, quite easy, quite fast. And after you add some elements, manage your structure, you're ready to publish your website. So you can click on publish in the right top and then it will be automatically published. So as you can see, your site is published and live online. So we can click on view site and then we can come to this page. Yeah, it looks really good, pretty fast. So yeah, I can definitely recommend to use this platform. So yeah, that's all for this video. Hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe and goodbye guys.